Hey, hey, and welcome to the pronunciation section of these videos. In this section, we will be helping you with your pronunciation and even show you some common mistakes that Koreans make. When you watch these videos, it's very important to listen carefully and repeat after the teacher. When a teacher says a word, just repeat it. If you don't understand some of the words in this section, no worries. The focus is in your pronunciation. However, if you want, look it up in the dictionary. Remember, what you put into the videos is what you will get out of them. I promise that these videos will help you in your pronunciation. Just sit back, relax, and repeat after our teachers. Hey, this is Bill, and I've got a nice basic English video for you here today. Now, I'm going to talk to you about silent E. Now, a silent letter is a letter in a word that we don't say. It's just there. We write the word, we write the letter, but when we read the word, we don't say that letter. Now, silent E, kind of a tricky one here. And I've got some examples to help you. Now, if you can remember your vowels, A, E, I, O, U. Now, now, each vowel has two different sounds, the short sound and the long sound. Well, silent E is the letter E that comes at the end of a word, but we don't say the E. The E is just there to change the vowel sound. Let's take a look here and I'll show you. All right. Now, I have this first word here, plan, okay? That's like, I have a plan for tomorrow, okay? So we know that, a plan, you make a plan. Then, if I do this, now it's not plan E, no. Now it becomes, before it was short A, plan. Now, long A, plane, okay? Like an airplane, all right? Look at the plane in the sky. Not plany. Now it's long A. Plane. Okay? Next thing going down here. We know this. This is a man's name. Tim. Maybe you have a friend named Tim. Okay? But, and again, the I sound. That's short I. I. But if we go ahead and if we put silent E there, that means now time. Okay? What time is it? All right? Not Timmy. Again, silent E. Don't say it, but now you have the long I sound. Time. All right. If you remember, plan had the A eh with short A. So does cap with the A eh, eh sound. All right? So if we have cap right now, let's go ahead and make cape. All right, now we go to long A with the cape sound. All right, keep it going here. Hop, that's short vowel O, the AH sound. All right, so we have hop. I just did one. All right, now after hop, we put short E. Don't say hoppy, we say hope. Like, I hope it does not rain tomorrow because I'm going to the baseball game. Things like that, all right? Before it was hop, now hope with the long vowel O sound, all right? Coming up here, we haven't done one with U yet. Now, long U, it's a little strange. It's OO, okay? But more on that. So here, short U, tub, the uh, uh short vowel U, all right? From tub, we put silent E. Again, not tubby. We say tube, all right? A tube of toothpaste, okay? Goes from tub to tube, but still, I'm not saying silent E, all right? After that, we come down to bit. Bit means a small piece, you know. Can I have a bit of your bread? Well, 
That's bit again. Same as Tim, we have the i, i, short vowel I. So again, silent E comes in. Bite, not bitty. Bite going on there. Now, you're probably getting a good idea of it, so I just got two more for you. Again here, you know, remember, uh, the short vowel U, uh, uh, uh. Well, here is cut. Well, we go cut, now cute. Okay, we have cute. Ah, look at the cute puppy. All right, and now last one here. I've got rip when you don't have scissors. All right, well, there's rip and then there's ripe. Long vowel I with a silent E. So listen to me as I say these. We've got plain, time, cape, hope, tube, bite, cute, and ripe. Never did I say the E because it's silent. It's just there to make a long vowel. Okay, I hope that was helpful and I hope I see you again soon. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Robin and in this video I'm going to talk about three words that are often mispronounced and misspelled, okay? The words are quit, quiet, quite. Okay, you can see they have similar spelling and of course the sound is very similar, but these words, the meanings are very different, so we have to be careful in how we pronounce them and of course how we spell them. So before we talk about pronunciation, let's just review the meanings of each word. The first one, quit. So quit, of course, means stop. You stop something. So for example, I quit my job or I quit smoking. Okay, you stop, you stop working or you stop smoking. The second one, quiet. Now quiet, of course, be quiet. Don't make any noise. Shh, quiet. And the last one, quite. Now, quite is the confusing one. Now, this word is used for emphasizing another word. It's an emphasis word, and it usually means very, okay? So, in a sentence like, she's quite pretty, okay? That would, it's emphasizing pretty, so it means she's pretty. She's very pretty. Or another sentence, he's quite tall. It's emphasizing tall, so he's very tall. Okay, so that's quite. Let's go back to the pronunciation. The first one. The Q-U makes a qu, qu, like a K-W sound. Qu, qu, and of course it. It, quit, quit. The second one, qu. And I-E-T is I-E-T. Another similar word is diet. Okay, this is quiet. Diet, quiet. All right. And the last one, I-T, I-T, like sight. Quite, quite. So again, quit, quiet, quite. Quit, quiet, quite. Okay, so you have to be very careful with the pronunciation of these words and the spelling, okay? Uh, a lot of my students confuse the spelling, especially these two words, okay? Be sure this is quiet and quite. All right, that's it. I hope you uh, learn how to properly pronounce these words and you can say them correctly. Okay, see you next video. Hello everyone, I'm Robin and in this video we are going to talk about three words that are difficult to pronounce and often my students mispronounce these words, okay? So by the end of this video I hope you can pronounce these words correctly. 
Now, first, let's uh, just review the words and their meanings, okay? So, the first word is receipt. And what is a receipt? Of course, when you go shopping to buy something, uh, you have to spend money, and then the clerk will give you a receipt. So, the receipt is a record of what you bought, all right? The second word is mortgage. Now, maybe you want to buy a house, but you have no money, okay? So, you go to the bank, and you ask the bank for a loan. And the bank says, yes, here's a loan, and you, now you can buy a house. So, the bank loan uh, to buy a house, that is called a mortgage, all right? If you got a bank loan to buy a car, that's not a mortgage, okay? That's just a bank loan. So, the mortgage is specifically a bank loan to buy a house, okay? And the last word we're going to talk about is debt. Very, very bad word, okay? If you are in debt, that's a very bad thing because you owe, you owe money. You owe money to uh, your friends and maybe you have to pay many bills, but you don't have money. Okay, debt is a very bad situation. You owe money. All right, so that's quickly the meanings of the words. Now let's focus on the pronunciation, okay, which is more difficult. So, look at the first word here. I'm going to say it. Receipt. Receipt. Now, one of these letters are definitely, I'm not pronouncing receipt. Receipt. I hope you can't hear this P because I am not saying the P. All right. That P is silent. Okay. We do not pronounce the P. So, it's receipt. Receipt. Never, 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 never say receipt. Or something like that. That is definitely wrong. Receipt. Receipt. You have to be confident. Receipt. The second word. Listen carefully. Mortgage. 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 Which letters uh, I don't pronounce? Well, this E, if I said morgag, uh, the E is necessary for the A, the long A. Mortgage. So this is important mortgage, but this T is not important, okay? Mortgage, mortgage. Never, never say mortgage. That is definitely wrong. It is always mortgage, mortgage. All right. And the last word, oh my God. This one, my students make so many mistakes uh, pronouncing this word. It's very difficult. Uh, listen carefully. Debt. Debt. Okay. Which letter I don't pronounce? Debt. This B. Never say debit or something like that. It is debt. D-E-T. Debt. Debt. Be very careful with this one. Debt. All right. So, those are the three words. I hope I improved your pronunciation of these words. Uh, I will just review them again very quickly, so you know. Receipt, receipt, mortgage, mortgage, debt, debt. Okay? So, be careful using them. See you next time. Hi, this is Bill. And right now, I have a very simple pronunciation video to go through with you. Now, sometimes in English, we have silent letters. Now, these are letters that appear in a word, but we don't say them when we read that word. So, it can be a little difficult when you're trying to listen or read. And I'm just going to explain this one idea to you. And that is K before N at the beginning of a word. Now, you can see all the examples behind me. But of course, in this case, if you see K-N at the beginning of a word, you do not say the K sound, okay? Just forget the Ks there. Well, don't forget, but ignore it, okay? Don't make that sound. So, our first one here, this word is not canal, all right? That's horrible right there. What you want to do is you just want to think no. 
and you should know this is like, I know how to speak English, all right? These are the things you know how to do. It's not kno, we just know. I know how to do things, all right? And then down to knowledge, all right? Again, no K sound. We have knowledge. Now, knowledge is all the things you know. If you have a lot of knowledge, you're a very smart person, all right? Stupid people, they have no knowledge, okay? Or maybe you just don't know about a certain topic. It's like, I have no knowledge about the Chinese language. That's a true thing. I don't know anything. All right, next, we have night. Now, this is not nighttime, like, oh, day is finished. It's nighttime. Now, if there's a K here, this is like the old style in England, like King Arthur and his knights, and they wear the armor and fight with swords, that sort of thing. That's what that knight means. We also have this one here, new, okay? Now, new is just the past tense of no. It's okay. Like, many years ago, I knew someone named Paul. All right, that was in the past. I don't know him anymore, but I knew him many years ago. All right, we also have knee. That's a, that one right there, okay? It's like that middle part of your leg where your leg bends. That's the knee, again, not kni. Remember that. Now, kneel, very similar to knee, just plus an L. Now, kneel, it's now sometimes people sit down on a chair but then kneel just means to go down on your knees. Okay, probably because you don't have a chair. So you have to kneel on the floor, down on your knees. Okay. Another one, knife. Very simple. You have to cut something, knife. Okay. If you ever cook food or prepare food, you might need a knife to cut your vegetables. So remember, not knife, just knife. After that, another example is knit, okay? You know, if you have a handmade scarf or maybe a handmade sweater, that means you knit the scarf, okay? It's the old style. Making a scarf, you knit the scarf. Handmade style. All right. Then there's knob, all right? Now, knob is on some doors. Some doors have a handle, but some doors have a knob, and this is you grab it and just turn it. It's almost like a ball shape. Grab the knob, turn the knob. It's a good thing. All right. Also for a door, you have knock. This is knock, knock. Anybody home? All right. You're going to visit your friend. Don't just open the door. Well, maybe, but it's polite. Knock, knock. Then someone will come and open the door for you. Okay. Then we also have not, okay? Now, this isn't like, I am not going home, no. With a K, not is kind of like when you tie something, like your shoes, okay? You take your shoestrings and you tie them into a knot so that they don't fall down, fall apart, okay? Tie your shoes in a knot, all right? And then down here we have knuckle. All right, knuckle, kind of like how knee is on your leg. A knuckle is on your finger, all right, right there. Where your fingers bend, those are my knuckles, all right? So as you can see here, there's many words. There's more than these, but these are just 12 of these words where it starts with K, but we can't say the K. Well, can't, we just don't say the K, or it's, you're going to look silly. So try to remember, K-N... For your pronunciation, do not pronounce the K. Just ignore it and give it the N sound. No, knowledge, night, new, like that. I hope that helps you, and I hope you can remember it. Thank you. Hi, this is Bill, and I'm here to help you with some pronunciation. Okay. Sometimes in English, we have words that have letters we don't pronounce. We call them silent letters. And well, right here, I'm going to tell you about how the letter P can sometimes be silent. Now, this happens when the word begins with the letter P, 
but then it is followed by another consonant. Now, this is when we ignore the letter P and we do not actually pronounce that letter. It is only silent. So let's look right here. What I have in this word, PN begins the word, but I'm not going to say pneumonia, okay? The P is silent. So all I'm going to say is pneumonia, okay? And uh, pneumonia is a sickness that you get in your lungs that, you know, when you're breathing, you can get sick. It's more common in the winter time and it's kind of serious. So if you do have pneumonia, I hope you're seeing a doctor and getting help for that. But please, the help I can give you is don't say pneumonia, just say pneumonia. And remember, it's a lung sickness when you're breathing. It's kind of like all right here, okay? Now, the next one here, it's not psalm, all right? Now, this we just say psalm. Now, psalm is, it's a, it's a part of the Bible. And if you read the Bible, if you go to church, there's a part of the Bible that's known as the Psalms, like Psalm 1, Psalm 2. And um, it's just, you know, information from the Bible and things like that. If you go to church, you probably talk about that sort of thing. But what we'll talk about right now is that you should pronounce it Psalm. Remember, we have a silent P, so just pronounce the S. Now, actually for the rest of these, you notice PS is getting very common. Because as you look at the next one here, psychology, okay? Now, psychology is a subject that maybe you or someone you know studies in school. Psychology is all about how people think. It's like the way the mind works, like why we think the way we do. That's the study of psychology. Again, not psychology, just psychology. So that down here on the next one, similar to psychology, we have psychiatrist. Now, psychiatrist is a doctor who is an expert of psychology, okay? They've studied psychology all through university. They know psychology. They help people who want to talk to someone about how they're thinking. You know, they want to see a doctor about their mind. They see the psychiatrist and he helps them with emotional problems or things like that. But yes, so a psychiatrist studied psychology. Now, also similar, we have the psychic. Now, the psychic doesn't study psychology. The psychic is more of a fortune teller. If you're curious or you want to get an idea about the future, you might visit a psychic and uh, maybe they check your hand or they look at cards, but a psychic tries to tell you about your future and that's what they do. So yeah, a psychic is more of what we say a fortune teller. That's a similar term right there. And then down here at the bottom, you've probably heard this before, is psycho. All right, this is someone whose mind is a little broken, okay? And maybe they do bad things because of it. Many, many scary movies have a psycho character in them who's causing problems for other people. So yeah, we have that, the psycho person. It's kind of maybe even a little crazy here, but okay. So as you notice, PS is very common, but don't say the P. All right, so just one more time. I'm going to pronounce these for you. So listen up. We start with pneumonia, psalm, psychology, psychiatrist, psychic, and psycho. So all right, if you ever see these words in something you're reading, just remember there's a silent P when the word begins with P and is followed by a consonant. I hope that helps and I hope you remember it. Have a good day. Hi everybody, my name is Esther and in this video we're going to talk about how to use the word can and can't. Hmm. So first of all, let's talk about the meaning of these words. 
can means you are able to do something. Maybe because you have the skill, or maybe because your body allows you to do that thing. And can't is the opposite, right? You can't do something, you're not able to do something because you don't have the skill or your body doesn't allow you to do it. Okay, let's move on to the pronunciation. How do we pronounce these words correctly? Now I know it's not easy, but I know if you keep practicing, you're gonna get better, believe me. So let's look at the first one. Now this one actually sounds like a man's name, Ken. Ken, you'll notice it sounds more like an E than it does an A. Again, practice with me, Ken. Now, this one is can't. If you look down here, I've written the word ant, like the insect, kemi, right? Kemi, ant with the C in front. So, practice with me, can't, can't. Yes, again, can, can't, can, can't. Okay, well, let's see if you guys can put it in a sentence. I mm, do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Let's do a couple more practices together. Okay, so let's start practicing with the word can first. Here are some examples on the board. Let's start with the first one. I can swim. I can swim. I can swim. Make sure you guys are following along. Let's go on to the next one. The next one, eat, right? And let's try it with she. She can eat. She can eat. She can eat. Okay? After that is read. And let's use he. He can read. He can read. He can read. After that is drive. And let's use they with that one. They can drive. They can drive. They can drive. After that, run, right? We, we can run. We can run. We can run. Okay, let's move on to sing. And let's do you. You can sing. You can sing. You can sing. Reminding you that can, okay? It's pronounced can. Let's go on to the next one, dance. And let's go back up to I. I can dance. I can dance. I can dance. And the last one, speak English, right? Let's do that with I as well because I know you want to be able to say this. I can speak English. I can speak English. I can speak English. All right, let's move on to can't. Okay, so now we're going to practice with can't. You can see I've only changed this by putting a T here, changing can to can't. So let's practice again. Make sure you guys are following after me. I can't swim. I can't swim. I can't swim. Let's move on to eat. She can't eat. Maybe she's full, right? She can't eat. She can't eat. Next one is read. Let's do he. He can't read. He can't read. He can't read. After that is drive. And let's use they. They can't drive. They can't drive. They can't drive. Next one is run. Let's use we. We can't run. We can't run. We can't run. After that, the next one is sing. Oh, you, you can't sing. You can't sing. You can't sing. Dance, hmm, let's do they. They can't dance. They can't dance. They can't dance. And speak English, hmm. Let's say you can't speak English. Well, that's what I'm here to help you with. But let's practice again. You can't speak English. You can't speak English. But again, that's something that we're going to change as we keep practicing. Okay, and let's try a test now. Okay, so let's try a practice test together. It's not that hard. All you have to do is listen carefully. And as I read these sentences, you have to see if, uh, listen and see if I'm using one, can, 
or two can't. All right, so I'll do this slowly. Let's try it together. The first one, let's do swim, and let's use I. I can swim. I can swim. Which one do you think I used? Well, if you listen carefully, yes, I used number one, can. Let's go on to the next one, eat. And let's try she. She can eat. She can eat. Yes, I did number one again, can. After that is read. And let's use he. He can't read. He can't read. That was the second one, can't. How about drive? Let's use he again. He can drive. He can drive. Yes, that was number one. He can drive. After that, run. Let's use they. They can't run. They can't run. Maybe they're too tired, right? And I use number two. They can't run. Let's move on to the next one. Sing. We can't sing. We can't sing. Yes, that was number two. Can't. Next is dance. Let's do dance again. Uh, let's do we again. We can't dance. We can't dance. Yes, again, I said can't, number two. And the last one, you can speak English. You can speak English. Yes, the last one was can. Number one, you can speak English. How did you guys do? Well, that's the end of our quiz. I know that it's difficult and it's going to take a lot of time, but you can do it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi, I'm Molly and I have a story for you. So the other day, a friend, a Korean friend and I were counting money. And I asked her how much money she had. And she said, oh, I have $50. And I, in my head, I'm like, wow, that's a lot of money. But then I looked at her money and she actually only had $15. So I have noticed while being in Korea that some Koreans have trouble sounding out the difference between the teen numbers from 12 to 19 and the tens, like 20, 30, 40. So let's look at the board so you can see the differences. Here we have the number 12, 12. And here we have the number 20. But sometimes in Koreans pronounce 12 like 20. If you notice my mouth, 13. I spread out my mouth wide, 13. And with 30, it's 30, 30. It's a shorter sound. So we have 14 and 40. 14, 40. Here we have 15. 15, 50. 15, 50. Here's 16 and 60. 17 and 70, 18 and 80, and 19 and 90. Now, sometimes it's hard to separate these sounds, but if you're going to be using the, the numbers 15 and 50, you can see how big of a difference there is. Now, let's look at some example sentences. Okay, let's look at some examples. Uh, in the first sentence, it says, 12 eggs equal a dozen. Now, I say 12, but a Korean might say 20, and that just doesn't make sense. 20 eggs equal a dozen? The numbers don't add up, so make sure you use 12. Uh, now we have 13 is an unlucky number. In the United States, the number 13 is a really bad number. It's an unlucky number. But if 30 is not an unlucky number, if you said 30 is an unlucky number, people would not know what you're talking about. So make sure you use 13 is an unlucky number. Now, I have had some problems with phone numbers here. And this is a problematic phone number. We have 010, 
1624. Now some of my students have given me their phone numbers and I have called the wrong number many times because to me this is 16 but a Korean friend or someone I'm tutoring might say 60 and I'll dial the wrong number. So make sure you say 1624. Okay, also the number 18, 1891, not 1891, or else I'll never be able to call anyone because I won't know what number they're really saying. So now you know more about the numbers 12 through 19. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Robin, and in this video we are going to talk about the pronunciation of OO or double O. As you know, many English words use OO, but the sound, the pronunciation of these words, very different. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, I have many words here, and I know it's a little bit difficult, but you have to listen carefully. Now let's look at the first row. Okay, all of these words have the same sound of OO. So let's listen. Room, moon, food. Room, moon, food. Okay, so this OO has a very strong OO sound. Room, moon, food. Let's go to the next line. Okay, so my three words here. Book, cook, good. Book, cook, good. Book, book. So this O, O, U. Book, cook, good. U, U. Okay, very different. Room, book. Let's go to the next line. All right, this word, poor, poor has different, uh, different pronunciations in different places in the world. Okay, so the British pronunciation and the American pronunciation, very different. I'm going to teach you the American pronunciation. So in, in the American pronunciation, this is poor, poor, door, floor. Door, door, floor. Okay? Let's look at the next line. A lot of my students have problems pronouncing these words. Okay? I know they're a little bit difficult, a little bit strange. My students often say blued. That is wrong. Okay? This is blood. Blood, flood. Blood, flood. So it's a very strong ah, uh, blood, flood, okay? And the last line, okay, this says double O, but the double O, they are pronounced separate, okay? They are not pronounced together. So this word is cooperate, coordinate, cooperate, coordinate, okay? So this is a little bit strange. Okay, let's review very quickly. Room, moon, food, book, cook, good, poor, door, floor, blood, flood, and cooperate, coordinate. Okay, so you can see many ways to pronounce the OO or the double O takes a lot of practice. Be careful pronouncing these words, okay? You have to do a little self-study. That's it. See you next time. Hello everyone, my name is Robin and in this video we are going to talk about the pronunciation of some words, okay? They are French words, but we say, we also use these words in English, okay? So when we say them in English, we still say them with French pronunciation, okay? So they're a little bit strange. Let's take a look. These are the words I want to talk about. 
Now, as I said, they're French words. So, we use them in English, but we try to keep the French pronunciation. So, they all end with ET. ET, ET, ET. Now, in French, when we're speaking French, ET has an A sound. A. So, let's look at the first word. Now, we would pronounce this bal a ballet, ballet. And, of course, ballet is a type of dancing, okay? Very thin women do ballet dancing, but this is ballet. The next word, again, a French word we use in English, bouquet, bouquet. And what is bouquet? Of course, bouquet is a group of flowers. We call that a bouquet of flowers, when you have many flowers. You give a bouquet of flowers to your girlfriend or wife, okay? That's called a bouquet, bouquet. This has a K sound, bouquet. The next word, cabaret, cabaret. And of course, in Korea, there are cabarets, but the original meaning of cabaret is an entertaining show, okay? An entertaining show with music and dancing, that's a cabaret. But again, it comes from a French word. We use it in English, cabaret. The next word, valet. Valet, of course, there's valet parking. You go to a restaurant, a nice restaurant, and some young, usually young man, will take your car keys and park your car. That's valet parking. And of course, everyone knows this car company, Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Okay, again, Chevrolet. And the last one, very difficult to pronounce. Uh, this is a buffet. Buffet. And of course, a buffet is when you go to the restaurant and you can choose among many different kinds of food. Okay, you just put the different kinds of food on your plate. You choose yourself. That's a buffet. Okay, so one more time. Ballet, bouquet, cabaret, valet, chevrolet, buffet. Okay, so again, these are French words we use in English. So be careful, this is an A sound. All right, so I hope you understand uh, these words and I hope you know how to pronounce them correctly. That's it for this video. See you next time. Hi, I'm Robin, and in this pronunciation video, we're going to talk about the difference between they are and there are, okay? A lot of my students mispronounce and misuse both of these, so I hope, I know this video will help you uh, make sure you say they are, there are properly. Let's take a look at they are first, okay? So, I'm just going to read the sentences, and I want you to repeat after me. And I'm going to read it slow at first, and then I'm going to start to read it fast, okay? So, let's begin. They are, they are, they are nice. They are nice. They are, they are quiet. They are quiet. They are, they are coming. They are coming. They are. They are here. They are here. They are. They are rich. They are rich. Okay? So again, faster. They are nice. They are nice. They are quiet. They are quiet. They are coming. They are coming. They are here. They are here. They are rich. They are rich. Okay. Make sure you know they are. Let's move on to there are. Okay. We studied they are, but the next part is there are. So remember, there's a big difference. They are. There are. Let's take a look. Again, repeat after me. There are many. There are many. 
There are. There are six. There are six. There are. There are some. There are some. There are. There are cats. There are cats. There are bananas. There are bananas. A little bit faster. There are many. There are many. There are six. There are six. There are some. There are some. There are cats. There are cats. There are bananas. There are bananas. Okay, so I hope you know the difference between they are and there are. It's time for a test. Okay, it's time for a test. Uh, we're going to do it together. Uh, there are six questions here. Now, I'm going to say they are or there are. So you have to listen carefully and pick which one do I use. Okay, so let's look at number one. Hungry. So what do I say here? Listen carefully. They are hungry. They are hungry. Okay, so the first one should be they are. They are hungry. Number two, there are people. There are people. Okay, so number two, there are. There are people. Number three, there are two doctors. There are two doctors. Okay, that's there are. There are two doctors. Number four, there are happy kids. There are happy kids. There are. There are happy kids. Number five, they are crazy fans. They are crazy fans. They are. They are crazy fans. Number six, the last one. They are silly monkeys. They are silly monkeys. They are. They are silly monkeys. Okay. I hope you did well on the test. Uh, remember, there is a big difference between they are and there are. Make sure you know about this problem so you can fix it. And I hope you pronounce these uh, expressions correctly the next time you use them. Anyway, that's it. And I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Robin and this is a very important pronunciation video because I'm going to teach you about four words that my students often mispronounce uh, and the words they say sound like bad words. So when they say these words, I'm a little bit confused. Why are they saying a bad word? Well, they're not trying to say a bad word, just their pronunciation. It sounds like a bad word. Now, the four words are city, Coke, sheet, and beach. So as I said, a lot of my students mispronounce these words, so they sound like English bad words. So let's take a look at the first one. The first one is city, okay? City, city. You have to pronounce that city. And a lot of my students say shitty. Okay, you don't want to say shitty. It's only city. Now, shitty in English is a bad word. Okay, shitty means uh, something is not good. Something is terrible. For example, if you said this restaurant is shitty, that means it's this restaurant is bad. It's terrible. So you have to be careful. You have to say city, city, like Seoul City, Busan City. Don't say shitty, okay? The foreigner, the English speaker is going to be confused. Why are you saying shitty? The next word, Coke, Coke, like Coca-Cola, Coke. Uh, you want to say Coke, but a lot of my students say cock. You don't. You never want to say cock. That's very bad. 
because cock is slang in English for the penis, okay? So you never, never want to say cock. It's very embarrassing to whoever you're speaking to if you say cock. You only want to say coke. Coke. The next word is sheet. Like a sheet of paper. Sheet. Sheet. And a lot of my students, shit. Shit. Of course, shit is a bad word. You don't want to say shit. If you said shit, uh, the person listening, why are you saying shit? Are you angry? You want to say sheet. Sheet. The next word is beach. Okay, you want to go to the beach to enjoy your vacation. A lot of my students, it sounds like bitch. Bitch, of course, bitch is a bad word to, to describe a kind of a, a bad woman. She's a bitch. Okay, so you got to be very careful. Beach. Bitch. All right. So one more time. City. Coke. Sheet. Beach. You don't want to say these words. These are bad words. Okay. This video is very important. I hope you practice saying these words the proper way. I don't want you to say any word the bad way. Okay. So that's it and I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Robin and in this video we are going to talk about the pronunciation of the word ache. Okay, a lot of my students mispronounce this word. Uh, this word has CH in it, so a lot of my students say H. Okay, that's wrong. That CH has to have a strong K sound. Ache. Ache. What is an ache? Well, an ache is a pain. Okay, so if we have some pain on our body, we usually say we have an ache. Ache. Let's take a look at the board. Now, here is one problem. A stomach ache. Okay, you have a, maybe an ache in your stomach. You can say you have a stomach ache. Now, stomach is a word, another word that my students often mispronounce. Same problem. There's a CH. So they say stomach. Oh, please don't say stomach. Never say that. It is always stomach. Stomach. Strong K sound here. Stomach. All right. And then we get to ache. Stomach ache. I have a stomach ache. Stomach ache. All right, let's move on. Here is another ache. A back ache. Okay, I have a back ache. Ache. I have a back ache. The next one, very common. Oh, I have a headache. I have a headache. Headache. Uh, let's look at these sentences. My heart aches. Okay, maybe I broke up with some girl. I can say, my heart aches. My heart aches. Or I have a pain all over my body. I can say, I'm aching all over. I'm aching all over. I have pain all over. All right, let's review one more time. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Back ache. Back ache. Headache. Headache. My heart aches. My heart aches. I'm aching all over. I'm aching all over. Okay. Be careful with the word ache. That's it for this video. See you next time. Hi. We're going to talk about the pronunciation difference between the two words his and He's. Of course, he's is a contraction for he is, and we say he's. Now, some people confuse uh, the pronunciation of these words in a sentence, so I hope this video will clear up all problems. First, we're going to start with his. His. So let's take a look at the board. I have several sentences here. I'm going to read the sentences, and I want you to follow with me. Okay? So the first one. His name's Peter. 
His name's Peter. His name's Peter. His car is red. His car is red. His car is red. His cat is sweet. His cat is sweet. His cat is sweet. His friends are good. His friends are good. His friends are good. His brother is nice. His brother is nice. His brother is nice. His wife is angry. His wife is angry. His wife is angry. All right, that's his. Let's move on to he's. Watch my mouth carefully. He's. 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 Okay, you can see my mouth kind of spreads apart into a smile. He's. Okay, and the other word we first learned was his, his, he's, he's. Okay, let's take a look at the board again. He's Peter. He's Peter. He's Peter. He's driving a red car. He's driving a red car. He's driving a red car. He's a sweet cat. He's a sweet cat. He's a sweet cat. He's a good friend. He's a good friend. He's a good friend. He's a nice brother. He's a nice brother. He's a nice brother. He's angry. He's angry. He's angry. Okay, I hope you can hear the difference between his and he's. Let's try a test now. For this test, I want you to listen to me very carefully. Okay, I'm going to say six questions here and I'm going to say he's or his. Okay, so you have to listen carefully. Do I say he's or his? Now, he's and his use different grammar. Okay, so it, you can probably guess the answer just from the grammar, but maybe I might use the wrong grammar. Okay, so listen carefully. So the first one, what do I say? That's his car. That's his car. Okay, so the first one, of course, is his. His family is large. His family is large. Okay, so I said his. He's a crazy man. He's a crazy man. Okay, he's. He's coming home. He's coming home. He's. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Okay, what did I say here? I didn't say he's. Okay, he's is the correct grammar, but actually I used the wrong grammar and I said his. Okay, you should never say he's a nice guy. You should say he's a nice guy. But if you were listening carefully to me, you heard his. And the last one has two spaces. Listen carefully. He's lost his phone. He's lost his phone. Okay, what am I saying here? Well, I am saying he's, but not as a contraction for he is. It could also be a contraction for he has. Okay, so he's lost, what did I say here? His, okay. He's lost his phone. That's the difference between his and he's. Be very careful. That's it for this video. See you next time. In this video, we're going to be learning about the differences in pronunciation between e and e. E and e. Now, you might be able to hear the difference, but I'm going to let you see the difference. With our first word, sit. I, I, sit. Now, you can notice that my mouth is not moving a lot and my tongue is on the back of my teeth. 
So I'm saying sit, sit. I'm almost pushing out a puff of air when I say it, and my mouth is not moving. Eh, eh. Let's practice together. Eh, eh. Sit, sit. Now the other sound, e, it's longer. We can see with the word seat, e, e, seat. Now the difference between e and e is that while my tongue is still on the back of my teeth, I have almost a smile, a longer sound, and I'm smiling. Seat, seat. So you can see the difference between sit and seat, seat. Hopefully you can hear the difference as well as see the difference. Now let's look at some minimal pairings. Please listen carefully. We have been, been, bean, bean, chip, chip, cheap, cheap, fit, fit, feet, feet, his, his, he's, he's, it, it, and eat, eat. Now let's move on. Listen carefully. We have slip, slip, sleep, sleep, bit, bit, beat, beat, itch, itch, each, each, fill, fill, feel, feel, hid, hid, heed, heed. Now let's move on. Here's the next set. Please listen carefully. Hill, hill, heel, heel, hit, hit, heat, heat, ill, ill, eel, eel, kip, kip, keep, keep, pick, pick, peak, peak. Now let's move on. Here's the last set. Listen carefully. Piss, piss, peace, peace, dip, dip, deep, deep, sick, sick, seek, seek, shill, shill, shield, shield, bitch, bitch, and beach, beach. Now let's take a test. And now it's time to practice with the test. Now don't worry, I'm sure you'll do fine. I'm going to say a word, so please listen carefully. I might say sit or seat. I'm gonna choose one word. Sit, sit. Now which did you choose? I bet you chose sit. Good, now let's try our second word. Tin or teen. Teen, teen. I bet you chose teen. Good job. Let's try the third example. Slip or sleep? Sleep, sleep. I bet you chose sleep, and that's the right answer. Next, we have it or eat. It, it. You're right, I chose it. 
And last, we have his or he's. 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 I bet you chose he's. Now that you've had some time to practice, let's look at some example sentences. Let's look at our first example sentence. Now this sentence focuses on the sound eh, eh. Let's look at the first sentence. Chicks live in little villages. Let's say it together. Chicks live in little villages. Chicks live in little villages. Now our second sentence focuses on the sound e. Eager Eddie eats eagles every evening. Let's say it together. Eager Eddie eats eagles every evening. Eager Eddie eats eagles every evening. So now you've had practice with tests and example sentences. I hope you know the difference between these two sounds. See you next time. In this video, you're going to be learning about the differences in sound and pronunciation from e eh and a. E eh and a. Now these can get confusing, so let's look at some words so you can see and hear the difference between e eh and a. Here we have met. Met. E. Eh. Met. Let's say it together. Met. Now this is a much, much shorter sound. E. Eh. E. Eh. Let's try it together. E. Eh. Met. Now, you can see for A, we have mate. A, A, mate. Now, this is a much longer sound, and your mouth is opening much wider. Mate, mate, A, A. Let's try it together. A and mate. Very good. Now that you can see and hear the difference between Met, eh, and mate, a, eh, mate. Let's look at some word pairings. Please listen carefully. Bed, bed, bade, bade. Get, get, gate, gate. Tech. Tech, take, take. Well, well, whale, whale. Let, let, late, late. Now let's move on. Listen carefully. Men, men, main. Main. Wet, wet, wait, wait. Sell, sell, sail, sail. Test, test, taste, taste. Chess. Chess, chase, chase. Let's move on. Tell, tell, tail, tail. Pen, pen, pain, pain. Lens, lens, lanes. Lanes. West, west, waste, waste. Bled, bled, blade, blade. 
Let's continue on. This is the last set. Listen carefully. Fed, fed, fade, fade. Sex, sex, sakes, sakes. Red, red, raid, raid. Scent, scent, saint, saint. X, X, aches, aches. Now let's try a test. And now it's time to practice with the test. I'm going to choose one of these words, repeat it to you, so please listen carefully, and then you choose what word I say. Met or mate. I'm going to say the word mate. Mate. I bet you chose mate. For our second example, let's look at fell and fail. I'm going to choose the word Fail. Fail. I bet you didn't fail. The word was fail. For our third example, we have tell and tail. I'm going to say the word tell. Tell. The answer was tell. Now for our next example, scent or saint. I'm going to say the word scent. Scent. The answer was scent. Now our last example, X or aches. X or aches. I'm going to say the word aches. Aches. The answer was aches. I hope you did well on this test. Now let's look at some example sentences. We have this first sentence and it focuses on the sound A. Patient natives raised ancient apes. Now repeat with me. Patient natives raised ancient apes. Patient natives raised ancient apes. Now our second fo sentence focuses on the sound e. Eh. The jealous elephant dreaded the wedding dress. Now repeat with me. The jealous elephant dreaded the wedding dress. The jealous elephant dreaded the wedding dress. Now that you've had a test and uh, have seen some example sentences, I hope you can hear the difference between a uh and eh. See you next time. In this video, you are going to be learning about the differences in pronunciation between a uh and uh. A uh and uh. Now these can be difficult sounds, so let's practice one more time. Ah and uh. They're very short sounds. Let's look at our first word. We have bat. Let's try together. Bat. 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 The sound is ah. 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 Very good. One more time. Ah, ah, ah. Now that's different from uh, uh, uh. Let's look at our second word. But, but, but. Now you can hear the difference between uh and but, but, but. Let's try the uh sound together. Uh, uh, uh. So now that you know the difference between uh 
and a, uh, let's look at some minimal pairings. Bad, bad, bud, bud. Bat, bat, but, but. Cam, cam, come, come. Cap, cap, cup, cup. Cat, cat, cut, cut. Let's move on. Please listen carefully. Began, began, begun, begun. Fan, fan, fun, fun. Mad, mad, mud, mud. Hat, hat, hut, hut. Ran, ran, run, run. Let's move on. Back, back, buck, buck. Ban, ban, bun, bun. Tan, tan, ton, ton. Cab, cab, cub, cub. Flash, flash, flush, flush. Let's move on. Here's the final set. Mask, mask. Musk, musk. Stab, stab. Stub, stub. Sack, sack. Suck, suck. Swam, swam. Swum, swum. Sank, sank. Sunk. Sunk. And now let's try a test. And now it's time to practice with a test. I'm going to give you a word and you need to choose between these two words. Let's start with our first example. We have bat and butt. Now I'm going to choose the word bat. Bat. You're right if you answered bat. For our second example, I'm going to give you the word cap or cup. I'm going to choose the word cup. Cup. The answer was cup. Now between the two words, mad or mud. I'm going to choose the word mud. Mud. I bet you answered mud. Next, we have the two words ban or Bun. I'm going to choose the word bun. Bun. You were correct if you chose bun. Now last we have stack or stuck. I'm going to choose the word stack. Stack. The answer was stack. Now that you've practiced, let's look at some example sentences. Now let's look at our first example sentence. Our first sentence focuses on the sound ah, ah. Abby asked Adam for apples. Repeat with me. Abby asked Adam for apples. Abby asked Adam for apples. Our second sentence focuses on the sound uh. Sarah munched on a summer lunch. Repeat with me. 
Sarah munched on a summer lunch. Sarah munched on a summer lunch. Now that you've had a test and some practice sentences, I hope you can hear the difference between these two sounds. See you next time. In this video, we are going to learn about the differences in pronunciation between the sound O and OR. O and OR. Let's look at our first word. We have the word poke, poke, poke. Now that O sound, your mouth, you can see that my mouth starts big and gets smaller. O, O, O. Let's try once together. O. Now our second sound, OR, OR, OR. As you can see in the word pork, 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 my tongue lifts up in the end. Pork, pork, pork. Let's try just the sound. Or, or, or. This is much different than o, o. Oh, now, or, or, or. Now that you can hear the difference between O oh and or, let's look at some minimal word pairs. Please listen carefully. Do, do, door, door, foe, foe, for, for, go, go, gore, gore, o, o, or, or, mo, mo, more, more. Let's move on. Moaning, moaning. Morning, morning. Bode, bode. Board, board. Bone, bone. Born, born. Folk, folk. Fork, fork. So, so. Soar, soar. Let's move on. Dome, dome. Dorm, dorm. Toe, toe. Tor, tor. Snow, snow. Snore, snore. Stow, stow, store, store, tone, tone, torn, torn. Let's move on. This is the last set. Code, code, cord, cord, cone, cone, Corn, corn, coke, coke, cork, cork, ho, ho, whore, whore, stoke, stoke, stork, stork. Let's try a test. And now let's practice with a test. I'm going to say two words from here or here and then choose a word. And you choose from column one or column two. The first example is 
poke or pork? I'm going to say the word pork. Pork. I bet you chose pork. Let's look at the second example. O or or. O or. I'm going to choose the word o. O. O was the correct answer. Now for the third example, folk or fork. I'm going to say the word fork. Fork. The correct answer was fork. Now we have snow or snore. Snow or snore. I'm going to say the word snow. Snow. The correct answer is snow. And last we have code or cord. I'm going to say the word cord. Cord. I bet you chose cord. Now that you've had some time to practice, let's look at some more example sentences. Now let's look at the first example sentence. We have our first sentence here which focuses on the sound O. Oh. O. Oh. The first sentence says, Gnome soaks his toes alone at home. Now repeat after me. Gnome soaks his toes alone at home. Gnome soaks his toes alone at home. Our second sentence focuses on the sound or. Or. The store fork is on the floor or door. Now repeat after me. The store fork is on the floor or door. Now you've had a practice test and some practice sentences. I hope you can hear the difference between these two sounds. See you next time. Hi, my name is Molly, and in this video, we are going to be talking about the differences in pronunciation between a and e. A and e. Now, you may notice when I say a, my mouth is round and my jaw drops. A. A. However, when I say e, my mouth does not drop and it's wider. Eh. Eh. A and eh. A and eh. Now let's look at some example words. We have bad. Bad. Repeat after me. Bad. Good. Let's look at bad. Bad. Now repeat after me. Bad. Good, let's compare bad and bad. Bad and bad. Now you know the difference between a and e. Eh. Let's look at some minimal pairs. Now let's look at some minimal pairs for the a ah sound and the e eh sound. It's very important to repeat after me. Axe. Axe. X, X, back, 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 can, 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 man, man, men, men.
Pat, Pat, Pet, Pet. Let's keep going. Keep repeating after me. And, 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 flash, flash, flush, flush, had, had, head, head, pan, pan, pen, pen, sad, sad, said, said. Let's keep going. Again, repeat after me. Fad, fad, fed, fed. Mat, mat, met, met. Sax, sax, sex, sex. Tack, 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 track, 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 track. Let's keep moving on. All right, this is the last set. Sat, sat, set, set. Bat, bat, bet, bet, dad, dad, dead, dead, land, land, lend, lend, band, band, Bend, bend. All right, let's move on to a test. Now let's take the listening test. There will be a choice of two words. I'll say a word, and then you choose the correct answer. First, we have bad and bed. Now listen carefully. Bad, bad. I hope you chose bad. Next, we have man and men. Listen carefully. Men. Men. I bet you chose men. Next, we have sad and said. Listen carefully. Sad. Sad. The correct answer was sad. I bet you did well. Now we'll do sat and set. I'm going to say the word set. Set. I bet you chose set. Last, we have dad and dead. 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 The correct answer was dead. I bet you did well. Let's keep going. Last, we are going to practice the a ah and e eh sounds with some sentences. Our first sentence is Abby asked Adam for apples. Now let's practice together. Repeat after me and we'll go slow. Abby asked Adam for apples. Now let's try it all together a little bit faster. Abby asked Adam for apples. How did you do? I hope you did well. Let's move on to the next sentence. The elephant kept a wedding dress. Now we'll practice together and go slow. The elephant kept a wedding dress dress. Let's try it all together a little bit faster. The elephant kept a wedding dress. Now you try. 
I hope you did well. Now you know the difference between a and e. I'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Molly, and in this video, we're going to be comparing the differences in pronunciation between R and R. R and R. Now, when I say R, my mouth is wider. R. However, when I say R, it is a deeper sound and my mouth is smaller. R. Let's look at our first example. Far. Now repeat after me. Far. One more time. Far. Let's look at our second word. Fur. Repeat after me. Fur. One more time. Fur. Let's compare sounds. Far. Fur. Far, fur. Good. Let's look at some minimal pairs. Here's our first set. Please remember to repeat after me. Bar, bar, burr, burr. Car, car, cur, cur. Skirt. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Guard, guard, gird, gird. Card, card, curd, curd. Let's move on to our next set. Here's our second set. Please repeat after me. Bard, bard, bird, bird. Hard, hard, herd, herd. Heart, heart, hurt, hurt. Parse, parse. Purse, purse. Sar, sar, sir, sir. Let's move on. Here's our next set. Barn, barn, burn, burn. Cart, cart, curt. Hurt, farm, farm, firm, firm, par, par, purr, purr, bark, bark, burk, burk. Let's move on to our next set. Here's our last set. Part, part, pert, pert, dart, dart, dirt, dirt, park, park, perk, perk, star, star, Stir, stir, carve, carve, curve, curve. Let's move on. Now let's take the listening test. First, there will be a choice of two words. I will say one word and then you choose the correct answer. Our first set of words are bar and burr. Listen carefully. Bar. Bar. I bet you chose bar. Next, we have the words skirt and skirt. 
Listen carefully. Skirt. Skirt. I bet that you chose the answer skirt. Next, we have hard and heard. Listen carefully. Hard. Hard. Now, this isn't very hard. The answer was hard. Next, we have heart and hurt. Listen carefully. Heart. Heart. The correct answer is heart. Last, we have barn and burn. Listen one last time. Barn. Barn. The correct answer was barn. I hope you did well. Now let's move on to the next part. Last, we are going to practice the R sound and the ER sound in some sentences. We have bar guards part hard hearts. Now let's try again together and repeat after me very slowly. Bar guards part hard hearts. Let's try one more time a little bit faster and all together. Bar guards part hard hearts. Next we have the er sound. Our first word is pearl. Now you may notice that we have E-A-R in hearts and E-A-R in pearl. Now they look the same, but in different words they may sound different. Pearl is the er sound. Pearl exercises her fingers. Let's say it together. Repeat after me very slowly. Pearl exercises her fingers. We'll say it again a little bit faster. Pearl exercises her fingers. Now you know R and ER. I hope you did well and I'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Molly and in this video we will be going over the B sound B and the V sound V. B and V. Now you may notice when I say B, my lips are together and a little air comes out. B. B. However, when I say the sound V, my teeth touch my bottom lip. V. V. Okay, now let's look at our first word. Berry. Berry. Let's try it together. Berry. All right, now we're going to look at our second word. Very. Very. Let's practice together. Very. Now you can hear the sound, difference in sound between berry and very. Berry and very. Together, berry and very. Now let's keep practicing with some minimal pairs. Now let's look at some minimal pairs for the B sound, B, and the V sound, V. It's important to repeat after me. First we have B, B, V, V. Repeat after me again. Bat, bat, that, that. Beer, beer, veer, veer. Keep repeating after me. Best, best, vest, vest. Ban, ban, van, van. Now let's move on. Repeat after me. Boat, boat, vote, vote. Bow, bow, 
vow, vow, biz, biz, viz, viz, verb, 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 verb. Now, in our next two words, you may notice that our v sound and v sound do not always come at the beginning of the word. Serb, serb, serve, serve. Let's keep going. I know it's difficult, but keep repeating after me. Bent, bent, vent, vent. Bet, bet, vet, vet. Bain, bain, vain, vain. Bid, bid, vid, vid. Bile, Vile, vile, vile. Let's keep going. Keep repeating after me. Bolt, bolt, volt, volt. Curb, curb, curve, curve. Dub. Dub, dove, dove, jibe, jibe, jive, jive, broom, broom, room, room. Good. Now let's move on to a test. Now let's take the listening test. There will be a choice of two words. I will say one word, and then you choose the correct answer. I bet you'll do fine. The first two words are berry and very. Listen carefully. Berry. Berry. If you were listening carefully, I bet you chose berry. Next, we have B and V. Listen carefully. V. V. I bet you chose V. Next, we have boat and vote. Listen carefully. Vote. Vote. I bet you chose vote. Next, we have dub and dove. Listen carefully. Dove. Dove. The correct answer was dove. Last, we have curb and curve. Listen carefully. Curve. Curve. I bet you chose curve. Now, I hope you did well. Let's move on to the next part. Now, let's practice the B sound B and the V sound V with some sentences. Our first sentence is the B sound, B. Boring beavers bake bagels. Now, repeat after me and very slowly. Boring beavers bake bagels. Let's try again a little bit faster. Boring beavers bake bagels. Now you try. I bet you did well. Let's move on to the next sentence with the V sound, V. Victor the vampire vanished. Now repeat after me, very, very slowly. Victor the vampire vanished. Now let's say it all together a little bit faster. Victor the vampire vanished. Now you try. I bet you did well. Now you know the difference between the B sound, B, and the V sound, V. 
I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Molly, and in this video, we will be talking about the differences in pronunciation between the B sound, B, and the P sound, P. Now, in both sounds, my lips are touching, and a little bit of air comes out. B and P. The first sound, B, is called a voiced sound. If you put your hand on your throat, you should feel a little bit of a vibration. B. B. I hope you felt that. Now, for the P sound, that's called an unvoiced sound. If you put your hand on your throat, you should not feel a vibration. P. P. It's also a little bit of a softer sound. Let's look at our first word. B. Now repeat after me. B. One more time. B. Our second word is P. Repeat after me, please. P. P. Let's compare. B. P. B. P. Let's move on to some minimal pairs. Let's look at our first set of minimal pairs. Please repeat after me. Bat, bat, pat, pat. Bay, bay, pay, pay. Boo, boo. Poo, poo, bet, bet, pet, pet, buy, buy, pie, pie. Let's move on to our next set. Here's our next set. Repeat after me. Bit. Bit, pit, pit, bull, bull, pull, pull, big, big, pig, pig. Now notice for the next couple words, the B and the P sound are at the end of the word. Rib, rib, rip, rip, cub, cub, cup, cup. Let's move on to the next set. Here's the next set. Bill, Bill, pill, pill, tab, tab, tap, tap, pub, pub, pup, pup, bow, bow. Pow, pow, robe, robe, rope, rope. Let's move on to the next set. This is our last set. Bride, bride, pride, pride. Bitch, bitch. Pitch, pitch. Blank, blank, plank, plank. Beep, beep, peep, peep. 
keep. Peak, 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 peak. Let's move on. Let's take a test. There will be a choice of two words. You listen carefully and I'll say one word and then you choose the correct answer. First, we have B and P. Now listen carefully. P. P. I bet you chose P. Next, by pi. Listen carefully again. Pi. Pi. I bet you chose pi. Next, bat, pat. Listen carefully. Bat, bat. I really hope that you chose bat. Next, big pig. Listen carefully, pig, pig. The correct answer was pig. Next, tab and tap. Tab, tab. Correct answer was tab. I hope you did well. Now let's move on. Now let's look at some example sentences. Our first sentence shows us the B sound, B. A big blue bucket of blueberries. Now let's say it again, but repeat after me very slowly. A big blue bucket of blueberries. Let's say it one more time, but all together and a little bit faster. A big blue bucket of blueberries. Now you try. I hope you did well. Let's look at our second sentence with the P sound, pa. Pass the pink peas, please. Now, repeat after me, but very slowly. Pass the pink peas, please. One more time, a little bit faster, and all the words together. Pass the pink peas, please. Now you try. I bet you did well. Now you know the difference between the B sound B and the P sound P. I'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Molly and in this video we will be comparing the differences in pronunciation between the N sound N and the NG sound N. The N sound N and the NG sound N. Now these are difficult sounds but both are called nasal sounds because they come from your nose. Uh, let's look to the board for some examples. We have thin. You'll probably notice that my tongue is touching the top of my back teeth. Thin. Try with me. Thin. One more time. Thin. This is very different from the NG sound mm. Let's look at thing. This time you'll notice that my tongue is down. Thing. Let's try together. Thing. One more time. Thing. Now let's compare. Thin. Thing. Thin. Thing. Let's keep practicing with some minimal pairs. Here's our first set of minimal pairs. It's very important to repeat after me. Sin, sin, sing, sing, win, win, wing, 
wing. Kin, kin, king, king. Sun, sun, sung, sung. Fan, fan, fang, fang. Let's move on to our next set. Here's our next set. Pin, pin, ping, ping. Clan, clan, cling, cling. Hun, hun, hung, hung. Tin, tin, ting, ting. Pan, pan, pang, pang. Let's move on to our next set. Here's our next set. Stun, stun, stung, stung. Din, din, ding, ding. Ran, ran, rang, rang. Ban, ban, bang, bang. Bun, bun, bung, bung. Let's move on to our next set. This is the last set. Chin, chin, ching, ching. Tan, tan, tang, tang. Dun, dun, dung, dung. Stin, stin, sting, sting. Ton, ton. Tongue, tongue. Let's move on. Now let's take a test. There will be a choice between two words. You listen carefully. I'll say a word, and then you choose the correct answer. First, let's look at thin thing. Listen carefully. Thin, thin. I bet you chose thin. Now, kin, king. Listen carefully. King, king. The correct answer was king. Next, fan, fang, fan, fan. I bet you chose fan. Then we have chin. Ching. Listen carefully. Ching. Ching. The correct answer was ching. Ton. Tongue. Listen carefully. Ton. Ton. I bet you chose ton. I hope you did well. Now let's move on. Now let's look at some example sentences. Our first sentence is with the N sound N. First we have nine nurses needed needles. Now let's say it together, but very slowly. Nine nurses needed needles. Let's try again, but a little bit faster and all the words together. Nine nurses needed needles. Now you try. I hope you did well.
Let's look at the second sentence, which shows us the NG sound, N. The singer sang a song. Now you try. Repeat after me, but very slowly. The singer sang a song. One more time, but all together and a little bit faster. The singer sang a song. Now you try. I hope you did well. Now you know the difference between the N sound N and the NG sound N. See you next time. Hi, I'm Molly, and this is a really important video because we'll be going over the differences in pronunciation between the L sound, L, and the R sound, R. Now, I know these are hard sounds, so let's go right to the board for some examples. First, we have light. Light. Now, if this is the back of my teeth, my tongue is touching the back of my teeth, and then I pull my tongue back. So, light, light. Let's practice together. Light. One more time. Light. Now, our other sound, right, is very different. If this is the back of my teeth, my tongue is not touching, and it's actually curved up a little bit, but I still pull back. Right. Right. Let's practice together. Right. Right. Okay, well now let's compare. We have light, right. Light, right. I know these are hard sounds, so we should probably keep practicing with some minimal pairs. Here's our first set. Please remember to repeat after me. Light, light, right, right. Lice, lice, rice, rice. Lob, lob, rob, rob. Lip, lip. Rip, rip. Lace, lace. Race, race. Let's move on to our next set. Here's the next set. Remember to repeat after me. Late, late. Rate, rate. Law, law. Raw, raw. Lead, lead. Red, red. Lied, lied. Ride, ride. Lock, lock. Rock. Rock. Let's go on to our next set. Here's our next set. Lake, lake, rake, rake. Now you'll notice the next three words, the L and the R sound, are not the first letter of the word. Glass, glass, grass, grass. Clash, clash, crash, crash. Clown, clown, crown, crown. Lust, lust, rust, rust. Let's move on to our next set. This is our final set. Flee, flee, free, 
free, lamp, lamp, ramp, ramp, long, long, wrong, wrong, loyal, loyal, Royal, royal. Play, play, pray, pray. Let's move on. Now let's take a test. There will be a choice between two words. You listen carefully, I'll say a word, and then you choose the correct answer. First we have light, right. Listen carefully. Right. Right. The correct answer was right. Next, glass, grass. Listen again. Grass. Grass. The correct answer was grass. Next, lock, rock. Listen carefully. Lock, lock. I bet you chose lock. Next, pilot, pirate. Listen carefully, pirate, pirate. The correct answer was pirate. Next, glamour, grammar. Listen carefully, glamour. Glamour. The correct answer was glamour. I hope you did well. Now let's move on. Now let's look at some example sentences. First we have the L sound, L. Lucy loved leaving late. Now repeat after me but a little bit slower. Lucy loved Leaving late. Now one more time, but a little bit faster and all together. Lucy loved leaving late. Now you try. Good. Now let's move on to the R sound, R. Rita robbed rude rock stars. Repeat after me, but much slower. Rita robbed rude rock stars now one more time but a little bit faster rita robbed rude rock stars you try i hope you did well now you know the difference between the l sound la and the r sound ra i'll see you next time